In this video, I'm going to teach you how to run a regression on a TI-84 Plus Silver Edition, or the same keystrokes would actually work for a TI-83 or TI-84. You will see at the bottom of the screen, I've listed um, a set of ordered pairs. Now remember, the first coordinates represent the x's, and the second coordinates represent the y's. To run a regression, the x's need to be stored in one list, while the y's must be stored in another list. For simplicity's sake, let's store the x's under a list called L1. The y's we will store under a list called L2. Now, to run a regression of any type, I use the statistics menu, which if you'll look at your calculator, is uh, found under the stat key. So press stat. You will see this menu pop up. Anytime you need to enter new data or change the data, you need to edit the data. So that's why we choose the edit option under the stat menu. So I can do this either by pressing the one key or pressing enter since edit is highlighted with my cursor. I'm just going to press enter. You will see L1 and L2 pop up and Currently, I have data stored there, so the first thing I need to do is erase the old data so I can enter the, the new data. To erase the list, simply take your cursor, and you can see mine is on L2 right now. I'm going to press the up arrow key to highlight L2, and I need to clear list L2, so press the clear button. Then bring the cursor back down by pressing the down arrow. Oh, it didn't clear, so let's try it again. So I'm going to go up there to L2 and press clear. Bring the cursor back down, and there you see the list is clear. I also need to clear L1, so press the right arrow, press the up arrow, press clear, and bring the cursor back down by pressing down arrow. Now you see I have both lists clear. I'm ready to enter new data. Remember, under L1, we need to store the X's. So simply press 2, enter, 8, enter, 20, enter. And I see that I've got the X coordinate stored under um, L1. I need to now enter the data for L2. That would be the Y coordinates. So I press 4, enter, 16, enter, and 60, enter. Now I have the data stored under the two lists. I'm ready to run the regression. Now remember, we're working under the stat menu so press your STAT button again. I have the data entered. I'm ready to calculate. Use your right arrow key and move it over to the Calculate. And you will notice that that menu is highlighted and you will see a lot of options pop up. Now this menu actually continues down the page and the first regression I'd like to run is an exponential. Well, I see linear under option 4, quadratic, quadratic option 5, and so forth and so on. Use your down arrow to move your cursor, and you can scroll down the screen. Now, I want to run an exponential. I can see that is actually under option 0. So, press the 0 key. Now the calculator is waiting on me to tell it where I've stored the data. Well remember, we put the X coordinates under L1 and we put the Y coordinates under L2. 
So I simply need to enter the names of those lists. Now, this step is actually optional if you always store your data under L1 and L2. But because we don't always store data there, or we're using more than two lists, I'm going to show you how to type this information in. All right, we entered the X's on L1. So I need to first type L1. If you will look above your one key on your calculator, you will see L1 listed in blue. Well, that's the second function. So press the second key and press 1. And you will see the name of L1 pop up. The list must be separated by commas, so I need a comma. Look above the 7 key. You will see the comma button. Press the comma button. I now need to tell the calculator where, I've, where I have stored the Y values. Well, we put them under L2, so press L2. You will find its name above the 2 key. Press 2nd, L2. Now the calculator is actually ready to run the regression. So at this point, all I have to do is press Enter. And there's our exponential regression. Now, the equation is y, y equals the value for a, which is the initial value, and I'm going to round to three places, is 3.6. 8, 5, the growth rate, which is B, rounded to uh, three places, would be 1, 1.156, and of course, the variable remains. So here we have our exponential. Suppose I'd like to run a linear regression on the same ordered set of ordered pairs to, you know, maybe do correlation, and we'll check that out a little bit later. But if I want to run a linear regression, simply go back to your stat menu. It's here if you look at your keyboard. On your calculator, press stat. And we already have the data stored. So really, at this point, all we need to do is move the cursor to calculate. Hit your right arrow, and you see your regression menu pop up. And I would like to run a linear regression, which is under option 4. So I'm simply going to press the 4 key. Now the calculator is waiting on me to tell it where I've put the x-coordinates and where i put the y-coordinates. Well, remember, we stored the x values under L1. We stored the y values under L2. Now, I told you earlier that this step is optional if you put your data under L1, L2. So, I'm not even going to uh, type those lists in. The calculator will automatically look for that data under L1, L2. So, all I need to do is press Enter. And here we have the linear regression that best describes this set of data. So the linear regression would be, and remember we usually talk about linears in the form y equal mx plus b. Now if you look at your calculator screen, you will see that your calculator describes m, which is the slope, as a. So then the equation would be, and again, I will round to three places, 3.190x, there's your slope, plus b, which is your y-intercept, and we usually don't put plus or minus, so let's just go back here and erase this and simply write minus 5.2 three, eight. 
And here's your linear regression that best describes this set of data. Now, of course, you can do all kinds of comparison with these two sets of data, but here's how you run the linear regression. These steps, or, or an exponential or a quadratic, these steps actually never change regardless of what regression you, well, actually they do if you're running a sinusoid, but for linears and exponentials, there are your steps.